Got an interesting no heat call. It's a Linux 90% furnace. Here's the model of cereal. What I got here, the furnace will go through its sequence of operation. Inducer makes pressure switch igniter. And when it goes to energize the gas valve, everything will shut down. Instead of flashing a code, it'll keep the same uh, pulse, which is normal operation. And then it will start the sequence again. Most furnaces will do that three times and then lock out. This one does it indefinitely over and over and over again. And uh, I'll show you and then I'll show you what I, what I found. So we'll go ahead and push this door switch in. Now we got our inducer. We'll make our pressure switch. Gas valve is on, obviously. You see our igniter warm up. Igniter should be coming on now. Yep. So you got everything working except for gas. As soon as it goes to here, guys. Everything shuts down. Starts right back up again. Still no lockout code, just a single flash, and it'll keep doing this over and over and over again. So, I'm not going to be able to do it while I'm holding the phone, but so what I did is took my meter, check between the two terminals on the valve. Obviously, when it has a calling for uh, 24 volts, I should have gas coming out. What I found was that I would never really get 24 volts. It'd be uh, 15, 18, very weird numbers. So what I ended up doing is disconnecting from the gas valve. And then, I can't do it with one hand, I'll stop the camera. But I'll connect my meter to the probes without the gas valve in the circuit and then see if we have 24 volts, which I'll show you right now that I did. So I'm gonna stop the camera and I'll show you that real quick. All right, so I got it jumped out right there. Just waiting for the sequence of operation. Our igniter's coming on now. Our igniter's going. Volts and then drops out again. But now I have the gas valve disconnected. You can see the board actually flashes the correct code. So it was almost like there was a, a short of some sort making the circuit board reset itself over and over again without actually locking out. So, my next step is to ohm out the coil. Alright, so what I'll do now, since I know my valve is getting 24 volts, I'm going to ohm out this coil in here. Now it should read something similar to like a reversing valve coil, somewhere probably in the neighborhood of 12 to 12 to 18 ohms, somewhere in that range. So we got our meter on ohms. It's gonna be kind of difficult to do with one hand. All right, so we got our meter on there. Check out that resistance. 0 0.16, 0 0.17, which is basically turn this coil inside of here from a coil into a switch. So it's not even a load anymore. So I believe what's happening is it's not a direct short, so it's not blowing the uh, fuse on the board. But what it is doing is 
the resistance has changed so drastically um, because the the coil itself is shorted without being shorted to ground it's uh dropping my voltage to the point that instead of blowing a fuse it is basically just resetting the logic and the furnace tries again and again and again never ending never locks out never does anything just continues this vicious cycle so this gas valve is bad we'll go ahead and uh order another one and pop her in and she'll be good to go all right so we got a new gas valve and i'll just show you what the coil should read on a working gas valve so about 15 15 ohms and this one is reading under one ohm like two tenths of an ohm so uh clearly the resistance has changed in here so we're gonna put this new one in and get her fired up all right so we got the new gas valve in you can kind of see how it was oriented so you're not able to rotate this gas valve in place one because of the burner box and two because of the uh the gas pipe coming down the easiest way i found because this one has flexible is to obviously disconnect that make sure your gas is off of course and then i just take out the manifold the four quarter inch screws pull the whole manifold out and the whole assembly take it out then i unscrewed this piece this entire piece so it just came out in two sections and then i was able to uh rotate the gas valve off replace the gas valve and just do the opposite putting it back together so we're gonna finish button her up and we'll be firing her up here in a minute all right so everything's put back together buttoned up new gas valve checked for leaks also bled this line just to uh kind of get some of the air out so we don't have to uh fire it up a dozen times to get it to fire off so we should just have a little bit of air here so we're gonna get ready to fire it off it'll probably probably try two three four times before we get the air purged out and uh yeah once we get gas to it she should be should be rolling along need to do some gas leak checks and dial in the gas pressure. Back in business. Thanks for watching.